Hey you guys, it is William Carling from Movie Vlogs and Lithuania has chosen its Eurovision 2023 singer. It is our girl Monica Linkite from way back in Eurovision 2015. She was 22 back then, but she is 30 now. The girl has become a woman and she's ready to slay with the song Stay Dabba. Hey William. Should we watch and react? Let's, Let's do, do this. this. listen to the song. I am reading the lyrics on the Wee Wee Blogs website. Our Ed Keith explains that stay is an anthem of pain and healing. The verses touch on the struggles of growing up with pain and suppressing it within. However, the song also touches on acknowledging pain in order to overcome it. I had to taste it and embrace it, she sings. And apparently there's a hook in which she says in Lithuanian, Chuto Tuto. Um, this is an old phrase used in religious rituals. People would stand in a circle and sing traditional folk songs. And this is all about a call to hear your inner self from your heart. And you can read about my pain and inner healing in my book, Wild Dances, out May 9th. Links in description. Hitting pa lay. Beautiful. Mmm, I want to eat carrots. So much orange. I like mm. her amber get up. The emotion is raw and immediate. Beautiful voice. All right. Woman alone against the starscape. Ah, oh, there's the note. Yeah. Getting us in. That's the Monica Linkite power. Yeah, this is about this is about connecting Ooh. and it's raw. It's from the heart. This is beautiful. Oh yeah. Okay. She's being supported now. A cappella. The inner healing has arrived. Girl power, celebrate your sisters. Oh, the harmonies are really good. And we're quiet again. Good interaction. This reminds me of another Eurovision entry. Um, you know, the way you go to the backing singers and you kind of vibe with them. It was an Israeli entry. I think it was called Together We Are One. I want this to be bigger. I want more of a... They can work with this. But give me more. My God, her voice has really expanded. This is quite sweet. Uh, vocally, this is one of the best vocals we've heard this year. She is definitely feeling it. I like the connection she has to the material. The circle is complete. Wow, okay. They're gonna stay. They're not gonna get some fast food. They're not going to church. They're not going to the club. <laughs> they are staying. Oh my God, Monica. You've got to hold back for the rehearsals, man. You can't go too deep. Oh, softer tones as well. This is really good vocally. I feel like she's been possessed by the spirit of her best self. Let go of the pain, girl. All right, okay, look. Sister has got it going on. Okay. I'm in a few minds about this. First of all, I quite like the lyrical content. I think the story is very clear. So she's pleading with her lover, her partner, whoever, to stay with her, even though she knows she's got a lot of emotional baggage. She's willing to share it with you. Please listen to help her heal. This is very nice. It's very sincere. But there's something here as well that offers a glimpse of hope. You know, uh, you know she talks about 
having to endure this pain since she was 16. And now, as a woman in control, she's able to embrace it. Because these lyrics feel personal. And she delivers them in a way in which she's sharing her truth. She bears her soul on stage. And if, if there's anything we know about Monica, as you know, she's a credible live performer. She can do it solo, she can do it duo, she can do it seemingly as part of a woman's troupe. I'm just really pleased for her because this is another side to Monica that I feel that, you know, a lot of people haven't seen before. And yeah, it's a welcome return. It's a welcome return. And yeah, 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 love her. One thing that I loved about the Lithuanian selection was Monica's sheer joy when she won. If you look back when they were reading the results, she was really emotional. She was shocked. And I can understand why. To many, she was a surprise winner. No one doubts her talent, but she wasn't the favorite headed into this. She hadn't won her semifinals, but on the night that mattered, she came through. I also love the fact that in 2022, 2022, 2015, when she was 22, she competed with Vidas. It was Monica and Vidas. Um, and you know, it was a cute number. It was, it was a little silly, but now she can come back, you know, all these years later, more experience, bigger profile on her own. She don't need no man to sing next to her. And she's got a more serious song. So I think that's really beautiful for her. I loved seeing her joy when she won. Monica Linkite is no stranger to the world of Eurovision. In her pre-selection, she's competed at least eight times. 2010, 2011, 2012, 2014. She won on her sixth attempt, top 10 finish. She is good, she is respected, and she has grown as an artist. It is no surprise, she has picked up a number of awards in Lithuania, Best New Artist, Best Female Artist, Best Song, Best... I mean, like, literally, she's ticked all those boxes. And she has come back to remind her fans that she's still in it and gunning for that Eurovision trophy. Musically, I do think they need to make some serious tweaks for Eurovision, right? They've got a great roadmap at the moment. This feels like a strong demo, but it does not feel like a finished product. I think that in the chorus, it needs to progress throughout the song. Like, I think each section needs to progress so it builds more, but also the chorus needs to be more high impact, more oomph, more pow, more boom with the production. I think they need to amp it up. I don't know, add some electronic sounds. Give me some new rhythms. Get you gotta do something. It can't just be visual because I think musically it's too safe. All right, Lithuania has been drawn into the second half of semifinal one. They'll be competing alongside Armenia, Belgium, Cyprus, Denmark, Estonia, Greece, Iceland, and Romania in the first half. And in the second half, it's Albania, Australia, Austria, Georgia, Lithuania, Poland, San Marino, and Slovenia. In terms of qualification, semi-final two is actually quite open. It is unclear who is going to advance from this semi-final. I say Lithuania has one very big plus. The United Kingdom is voting in semi-final two. There is, of course, a very large Lithuanian community here in the UK. This is a televote only semi-final, right? So those kinds of things will make a difference. As it is, this is a non-qualifier. I hate to say that. I hate to say that because I love Monica Linkite. She's got a great voice. She's got poise and she's got connection to the material, 100%, tens across the board. But you gotta have more impact. And um, that's just a matter of production. She'll do her thing regardless. So y'all need to create that atmosphere that's gonna be more high impact. At the moment, it's nice. You've got the rising sun. It's almost got like a Lion King vibe. Whenever I see a rising sun on the horizon, I always think of the Lion King. In terms of qualification, I think, without a shadow of doubt, this is moving forward. I think it is really strong. And even though we don't have music experts in the semis, they will be there to support her with votes at the grand final, because this is definitely moving forward. Vocally, it's one of the strongest. And visually, simplicity is its strength. You don't need pirate and fireworks to deliver this message. It you know, it comes from within and it shines brightly. You know, I think in amping it up, Monica's fragility will be all the more manifest, right? Like right now, you see the broken woman, you see her journey, you see the healing, but with a bit more musical oomph, all of that will come through even more clearly. 
The other thing I really like about this is having United by Music as the slogan of the year. This is also bringing backing vocalists front and centre and saying, hey, you are a part of this and we are united by the music. We are united by the stories. We are united by, you know, by the pain and the and overcoming the pain. There are lots of things that unite us. And um, yeah, I'm really touched by this. I think this is really... This is a sleeper hit, right? It's not an obvious one. So if you're counting your favourites, Lithuania may not necessarily pop in your mind. But in the recap, and if you have to sit down and do your scoreboard, this will do very well. This is this is really good. Oh, wow, Lithuania, you're on fire. All right, I want to read some comments from the Wee Wee Blogs website. These are on our lyrics post. E.C. Pimpele says, Lithuania just keeps serving since 2020. I have no choice but to stand. Good says, the lyrics are actually pretty clever. XXX says, I'm surprised the fandom doesn't like it. They usually like everything that's ethnic. Maybe they just don't like Lithuanian culture or it's not stereotypically ethnic enough. I think it's a matter of production. I think if people know that that element in particular, that chant has a strong ethnic connection, then they'll love it more. I don't think it was necessarily overtly obvious to the casual viewer, but again, I think it's down to production. And if they produce this song slightly differently and make that section pop out, I think people will feel that ethnic connection more. Whereas right now, maybe it bleeds into the rest of the song. You can see that when she goes to her backing singers and she's like, you know, she's vibing with them. She's connecting with them. And this has a sort of like a, a traditional folklore, almost sort of religious feel about it. And the harmonies are pretty gospel. Let, you know, let, let's not divorce this fact from the actual storytelling narrative. It is also about suppression it is also about growth it is also about scars and healing pains and growing pains there's a lot of complexity here and whilst this song leads towards what a woman would deliver on stage men can definitely connect with this in any case that's what we think what do you think do you think that lithuania can advance to the final where would you rank this in semi-final two let us know here on we we vlogs we've got a stay mood board. And I tell you what, I tell you what, you won't be leaving. You won't be leaving. And we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.